Okay guys, um, I'd like to talk to you about brushes. There are a lot of different brushes out there and they all can be used for different things or they all can be used for the same thing. But, you know, every beginner artist or just even someone just getting into makeup should know the differences between the brushes and what they're supposed to be used for. Okay, so I'm going to start out with your basic and this is a sponge applicator eyeshadow brush. Pretty much, this comes in, if you buy anything from the drugstore, these little applicators, they come inside. You use these for eyeshadow. You can use them for blush, like if you have a cream blush and you like don't have a regular brush brush or a sponge you could use. Just take and you would just, you know, pat it on. And then, I, honestly, I recommend using your fingers and not this little applicator. But just take and, you know, just blend that in. But this is your everyday sponge eyeshadow brush. The next type of eyeshadow brush that you have is an angled fluffy eyeshadow brush, which is this type of brush right here. And I know you guys can see this pretty well, um, but you see it has the angle. Um, and you would just use this, like you can use this going into your crease. Um, but it's really more so a preference on what you like to use and how you like to apply your eyeshadow, not more so what you have to use to apply your eyeshadow. Um, another brush that's used for eyeshadow is a pencil brush. And a pencil brush, as you see, it comes to a nice little point, um, but not a sharp point or anything like that. And you use this, you can use this to create lines, similar to what Beyonce had in one of her videos where she had the line going across, like right in here. She had that, um, and this is the type of brush that was used to help create that look. Um, you can also use this to soften up you know, harsh lines that you may have already applied using a different brush. And what I mean by harsh lines, I mean this type of brush right here. This is a angled brush, um, and this is used for a lot of different things. I only use it for filling in my eyebrows and applying eyeliner, but you can also use this to apply eyeshadow, you know, for whatever look that you're trying to create. But just to say, you know, you use this brush, line ended up kind of hard. How do you soften it out? Well, you can use this brush to soften it out. Even though it's so-called the pencil brush, you can still use this brush to soften it out. And it, it will definitely help. I've done it plenty of times where I applied, you know, a line too harsh for whatever look that I was trying to do. And, you know, I just take this and I'll go like that and everything will be fine. Another type of eyeshadow brush that you have is a fluffy brush. And this brush, um, pretty much, you can use this for blending. And that's what I use it for. I really don't use it to apply the shadow, but I use it to blend what I already have. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to clean it, and I do probably need to clean it tonight. Um, but just to say, you know, you put on your eyeshadow, you have three different colors on. You don't have necessarily harsh lines, but you want to blend one color into the next, or you want to apply a light shimmer over top of what you already have. You can use this brush, dip it into your eyeshadow, and then lightly, you know, go over top of what you already have and then lightly go over top and this won't pull your color off it just it definitely helps to blend what you already have and just to soften it up a little bit more than what you know maybe a pencil brush would have done another brush that you can find and this is actually by Bare Essentials and I thought this was cute I bought one of their uh, eye tool packs I just wanted to get the three colors um, but it's called a rock and roll set that this brush comes in and this is a dual end brush and as you can see it has like it's definitely similar to an uh, angle brush except for it's rounded but the bristles are really packed together so you, this is good for like if you want to pet color on or just go on pet 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 this brush is really good for that um, on the other end uh, just so you can I can compare ends you see how one end this end right here is very pointy and this one isn't, this one is best for like lining your eyes when you want to apply your eyeshadow wet. Um, wet this brush and then go in and you can just take it, you know, just line underneath here. This, that's what this end is really good for. Um, like I said, this end, this is just for like patting it on. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bare Minerals, Bare Essentials, whatever they want to call themselves, they're all powder eyeshadows where you can apply them and you would do a, a stir, some tap motion and these brushes or this particular brush is really good for using any type of loose powder eyeshadow that you have. Um, and I wouldn't just say just for bare essentials, but for any loose powder or pigments that you have. Okay, moving on. Oh, and just to let you know, sponge brushes, they do come in other 
or I should say sponge applicators. They do come in other looks. You know, this is just a one-sided one. Um, moving along to concealer brushes. There are two different types of concealer brushes. And actually, there's probably more than that. I just don't have them with me in my collection. Um, but you have these two. This one is bigger than this one. Um, that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, you use this for applying concealer. Or if you have a powder foundation that you're interested in using, you use this to just further concentrate the pigments onto your skin. Um, same thing with this. You can just use this to do that. I am a big lover of this one. I don't know why I like the big, I call it the paint brush, but this is, this one is my favorite brush. I used to be really love this one. I actually used to apply my eyeshadow with it. Uh, I used to apply like neutral base colors, but I love this brush and this one, but I love this one for concealer. I love this one for eyeliner. Uh, not eyeliner, I'm sorry, eyeshadow, but I love this one for concealer. I'm not sure why, but I really love that brush for concealer. Um, moving on, this is just your eyelash comb, um, and this is your eyebrow brush. You just use this and go, you know, like that. If you want to clean up your eyebrows or if you may apply too much mascara, you just use it like that, and this will just help straighten that out. I really don't use this brush that often, but I do use this comb part to comb out my different brushes. Like if I have this brush, once I'm done cleaning it, I'll just go like that. And you can use it just to get away any flyaway bristles because you don't want to be applying your makeup and then one falls. And God forbid you put an eyeshadow on and it gets into your eye because that can be a, a really big hassle. So use this brush if you want to clean up eyelashes, clean up your eyebrows, or to help fix your brushes. And that's what I really use this brush for. Um, moving along to powder brushes. There are so many different type of powder brushes out there. You have what they call your mini kabuki. There are ones that are bigger than this. Some of them are flat top, just like this one. This is actually by, or I should say, for Mary Kay's mineral powder. This is what they suggest that you use for it. I like using one that's rounded, like the kabuki brush. I just, I'm not, I don't really care for it. And I think more so brushes are preference. I don't particularly care for a flat off brush. But I do love my little kabuki brush. This, you know, you can use this to apply blush. You can use it to apply uh, just any type of powder. But I really love this for my uh, setting powders that I use. Another um, brush you can use is it's a little bit, it's a flat one, but it's wide. You can also use this to apply your foundations. Um, whether it be a liquid foundation or a powder foundation, it could even be one of the uh, baked on powders. MAC has a, uh, what is it called, skin finish powder, and I used to use this brush for that. Um, it's not bad, you know, just take, swirl it a couple of times and you can just take and buff that on your color over top of your foundation and like I said it's not harsh on your foundation most people say you know if you're brushing on any type of powder you're brushing on your foundation you know not with this brush or not because the bristles are so soft you're not brushing away anything um, and the last brush that I have this is my dedicated blush brush this brush I use to you know start on this side then I just turned it to sweep it out any color that I have but I definitely like this brush it's just they, I don't even think this is in the packet. It's labeled as the blush brush, but this brush, this is my favorite for applying my blushes because I can take and, you know, swirl in. I can create my small circles or my big circles and then smooth them out right across my face. So that's pretty much it for brushes and just a quick overview. We got kabukis. We got small foundation brushes. We have blush brushes. We have an eyeshadow brush dual in with a pencil point. Okay, this is a pencil brush eyeshadow. You have a nice fluffy brush, small concealer brush, a larger concealer brush. You know, um, eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, I'm sorry, eyelash and eyebrow smoother. That's what I call it. You have an angled brush. You have an angled fluffy brush for eyeshadow. You have your dual end sponge applicator for eyeshadow, and then you have your single end sponge applicator for eyeshadow. Um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope I didn't talk too much for you guys, but these are just the brushes that I have in my collection. Oh my goodness, I forgot to talk about a brush. I can't believe it. This is called a stippling brush. Stippling brushes, um, you use these for liquid foundation. You can just take, you know, tap it in and then go like this and it helps to create a airbrush look but also it's very gentle on the skin. It's not like 
just to say if you were to pull, apply a liquid foundation with this brush, it's not very hard on the skin at all. Um, but this is the sibling brush. This is what it looks like. Um, it just, you know, it kind of like just puts it on in little dots and then you can spread on your liquid foundation. Um, I've never used this for anything else other than liquid foundation. So, like I said, guys, I hope you guys learned something. I know I probably talked too much, but I just wanted to do a quick overview of some brushes that every person should have in their makeup kit. All right, I'll talk with you later, guys. Bye.